Join us to navigate your awakening as we share the ancient science of transformation. Practicing this ancient wisdom will help you tune into your power and unlock your greatest potential. If you are ready to embark on your awakening and discover your soul path, then please welcome your host and transformation expert, Trinace. Welcome to Navigating the Awakening. I am your host, Trinace. Thank you for joining me today. I greet you in the love and in the light of the Infinite Creator. I would like to begin with the internal light meditation so that we can all align our energies with the cosmos, with the universal light of source. If you are driving or listening to this and not able to close your eyes, then please simply open your heart and allow the intention of healing to move through you. Allow each breath to relax you more and more as we go deeper. Let's begin. First breath in. Breathe out. Second breath in. Breathe out. Third breath in. Breathe out. Relax. Allow your breaths to find their natural rhythm. With each breath in, allow yourself to remain focused and centered, allowing each inhalation to increase the light within your cells, allowing this light to expand throughout your body and with each exhalation releasing all tension and stress any mental distractions or images and allow yourself to be in this moment in meditation focus your attention on the center of your chest see your internal light as it illuminates your heart, as it fills your heart with brilliant, healing, white light. Continue to see this light as it grows brighter and brighter, as it removes all heavy, negative, or dark energies, allowing your heart to be filled with peace, love, joy, and forgiveness. Continue to see this light as it grows brighter and brighter with each and every breath, moving in all directions throughout your chest, moving into your lungs, feeling your lungs with healing energies, removing any blockages, allowing each and every breath to be revitalizing and rejuvenating giving you more life energy, more love, more light. Continue to see this light as it moves into each and every red blood cell that passes through your lungs and your heart, allowing healing energies to enter these blood cells to be carried throughout the body to every extremity, carrying healing energies throughout your entire being. And now see this light as it continues to fill your chest completely, moving up into your shoulders, down into your arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, and moving into your palms and fingertips. Allow for healing energies to flow through your palms, radiating out into the world and all around you. Continue to see this light as it moves up through your neck, releasing tension and stress, moving into your cheeks, your ears, your nose, your eyes, your forehead, and moving up to your crown, activating the connection with your higher self, allowing for clear communication, clear downloads. 
And now see this light as it flows down into the diaphragm and the stomach, bringing healing energies to these parts of your being that are focused on deeper breathing and digestion. Continue to see the light as it flows into the small intestine and the large, healing your digestive organs, allowing you to absorb your light energies and your nutrients. Continue to see this light as it flows into your kidneys, your liver, your gallbladder, your spleen, your pancreas, and your bladder. All of your tissues, cells, and organs are now filled with healing light bringing you into perfect balance, perfect health, aligning you with all that is good, all that is desired. And now, see this light as it continues to flow through your being, moving into the hips, into the thighs, moving into the uterus, the sex organs, the colon, bringing healing to these organs of release and regeneration, allowing for you to be full of courage and wisdom, to know when to release all energies that no longer serve your highest good. And now see the light as it passes down through the legs, moving through the hips, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, and into the soles of your feet. You are now filled with healing light, bringing you into perfect balance, perfect health, aligning you with all that is good, all that is desired, bringing you into a state of perfection, perfect oneness, perfect harmony. And now see the light as it grows brighter, as it passes through the soles of your feet, turning into silver cords that move deep into Mother Earth, anchoring you and grounding you into Mother Earth, allowing for any excess energies to flow through these cords to be given to Mother Earth, to be recycled, to create something beautiful. And now, continue to see the light that is within you, within each and every cell, all of your tissues, all of your organs. See this light as it continues to grow brighter and brighter, as it now fills your body completely and moves through each and every pore of your body until you are filled with healing light and now surrounded with healing light. And see this light as it grows brighter and brighter, as it forms a bubble around you. You are protected. You are safe. You are loved. You are being healed each and every second of every day. You are better and better in every way, every day. Continue to see this light as it now moves into the space that you are in, feeling the room with healing energies that encompass all of the colors of the rainbow, all of the frequencies of light, are now surrounding you and feeling your body, allowing for your organs, your tissues, your cells, allowing for you physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally to utilize these frequencies to bring you greater harmony, greater balance, greater joy. See the space that you are in as it is filled with this beautiful healing light encompassing all life that passes through this space, bringing harmony, 
to this area and now expanding out throughout the building, the home, wherever you are, bringing healing energies to every floor, to all of the space within this area, harmonizing this place, bringing peace, greater love, greater union. And now see the light as it passes through the walls out into the greater environment until it encompasses your entire city, your country, and now the entire world. Allowing all of our lights to join together as one, increasing each and every one of us in healing energies, raising the vibration of ourselves and one another. As we are increased in our union, we are more powerful, we are brighter, we have the ability to heal ourselves and others. Allowing this light to continue to spread, to move deep into Mother Earth, connecting with our subterranean family, becoming stronger, brighter, more vibrant, allowing for our memories to be healed and restored, allowing us to remember our oneness, our union. Continue to see this light as it now passes out into the atmosphere that surrounds the earth, completely dissolving all energies, anywhere that they may be, that are not for our highest good, dissolving them easily and allowing for the raising of vibration for planet Earth as we all are expanded in our love and our light. And now we continue to send our light out into the universe, into the multiverse to connect with our greater light family, with the star nations, to continue our oneness and allowing for all of us to be increased in love and light and healing and joy and peace and oneness. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you, family, for sharing your light with me. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we will receive our direct guidance from our higher selves through the sacred path cards as to how we can find balance in our everyday lives in order to begin to live in harmony within ourselves and in the world around us. Spirit wants to give you this guidance so that you can navigate the challenges that you face in life from day to day. If you follow the guidance, it will help you. We come back to a reading for all the clans every five weeks. These messages can last for at least five weeks, if not longer. So it doesn't matter when you hear them, they are for you. Your higher self is guiding you to this information in the right time for you. We will now look at each clan and hear the message from Spirit that is for you. You will be given guidance through the sacred path cards and an animal medicine totem to help you navigate through the next several weeks. And remember, these readings are sacred and they are to be honored in that way. So now let's begin. Keep in mind that there is an aspect of you in every clan because we hold all the elemental forces within us. And now for the clan of fire, the Thunderbird clan. You are composed of the Red Hawk, the Sturgeon, and Elk people. Your challenge has the vibration of the number nine. You are still dealing with the energies of completions. You are being challenged with returning to the childlike parts of yourself that do not need any support from your ego. You need to lighten up 
and balance work with play. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you is a continual message here. You must learn how to let go and not take things so seriously. This is why Spirit is telling you to get in touch with your inner child so that this aspect of you can remind you how to play more and find more joy in your life. Fire people can be very intense people, so this will help you with your challenge of letting go as you complete an important cycle in your life. The remedy holds the vibration of the number 12, which when we add one and two together, we get to number three. We're going to start breaking these numbers down because they hold great significance to your messages. And this is the beginning of you learning the attributes of the ancient sacred tarot, which numerology comes from there. So the number 12 is about a sacrifice. This represents Pisces. And so this is about letting go of an illusion. In the number 12, we see this vibration. The number three relates to a trial in your life. And this energy is Libra. So action is needed. You are still trying to find foundations within this area of your life, wherever this trial is. And this could be around relationships because it is activating the energy of Libra. So you are being asked to find the truth of your present situation. You can protect yourself from uncomfortable situations, but you must use the truth as your protection. Don't worry about what others think of you or your situation. Who cares what they think? The only thing that matters is that you know what the truth is for you. When you honor your truth, you cannot be hurt by the lies of others. This is also speaking of creating a community or finding a community, finding your tribe. You must arm yourself with the good intent and truthfulness of those you associate with. Let go of people who do not honor your path or your truth. This message is reminding you to stay on the sacred path. The animal totem that can assist you at this time is the lynx. The lynx is the keeper of the ancient secrets. It is the knower of lost magical systems and occult knowledge. Receiving this totem means that you do not know something about yourself or others around you. Now, think about that. Again, these readings are incredible because you were given the remedy and the remedy was the vibration of 12, which represented Pisces. And that was about a sacrifice and letting go of an illusion. And so now with your animal totem you're being given today, this is all about secrets so there is some illusion, there is something you need to know, and you need the links in order to break this code, in order to get this information from the unseen worlds. So receiving this totem means that you do not know something, either about yourself or about someone around you. Lynx has the ability to move through time and space. When you tap into this medicine, you will begin to activate a powerful clairvoyance that works through mental pictures. Lynx medicine can reveal many secrets to you about yourself or others. If you are under an illusion, then Lynx can help you with it. And so this is very powerful for you, fire people. Remember that your challenge is here to make you stronger. So there's something that again, you need to let go of. It's dealing with completions and you're moving on to higher ground. So embrace that. Embrace that move forward. 
You are completing an important cycle in your life. And your remedy is all about you finding your truth and finding your tribe in that truth, surrounding you with people who resonate with what it is that you believe. Okay, so now for the element of water, the frog clan. You are made up of the cougar, flicker, and sneak people. Your challenge has the vibration of the number 14, and one in four equals five. You are to bring this challenge to your higher self. This is about creating something new in your life. Use your gifts and talents to create fertility in your life. The number 14 is about regeneration and temperance, which is self-restraint. Temperance is about self-restraint. This is Taurus. This is the energy of Taurus, regeneration and temperance. And this is the number five energy. It is also ruled by Jupiter, which represents abundance and good fortune. And so this this abundance and good fortune is ready to flow into your life. But you must start planting seeds for your future at this time. And this is your challenge to move forward and to allow yourself to use your talents and your gifts to create fertility. The remedy has the vibration of the number nine, which represents Aquarius and wisdom and prudence. And prudence is all about having good judgment and being able to govern yourself. We are told to be as a little child, to have more fun. This is for you water people the frog clan, it is time for you to embrace that inner child and to start having more fun in your life. It's time to loosen up and to start creating what you really want in your life. Use your wisdom and your good judgment to guide you through any obstacles. The animal totem that can assist you at this time is the skunk. And isn't that an interesting animal totem? Very powerful, though. Now, the words that represent the skunk the best are respect and reputation. Everyone respects the skunk because he has a reputation. (laughs) And so this is your totem for the next five weeks that you can work with. And again, for everyone, when you're given a totem, There's various ways you can work with it. I suggest working with it through meditation and connecting to this medicine, to the medicine of your totem, because this is the way that it it is sent to you through meditation. You're open to receiving. So the key about using the skunk is that you must respect yourself. This is first and foremost, before you can walk your talk. And then others will gain a healthy respect for you. Skunk is teaching you that by walking your talk and by respecting yourself, you will create a position of strength and honor reputation. When your sense of self is intact, you do not need to bully or intimidate others. Your inner power and strength is seen by how you carry yourself. Skunk medicine will help you to assert yourself without your ego. Respect from others follows your self-respect. When you have this self-respect, then you will attract others who choose the same path. And at the same time, your energy will repel, repel those who do not resonate with you. So think about the skunk, how powerful it is. It draws other skunks to it and they play together and it repels those who do not want to be bothered with the skunk. So skunk medicine will give you the power to attract your tribe to you and to repel those who want to take your energy without giving anything in return. And now for the element of air, the butterfly clan. You are made up of the otter, the deer, and raven people. 
Your challenge has the vibration of the number 17, which is the number 8. This number 17 is represented by the energies of Gemini. It represents truth, hope, and faith. And when we add 1 and 7 together and get 8, this is represented by the energy of Capricorn, which is all about justice and equilibrium. Now, your challenge is to retreat and to replenish your energy. This is for the Butterfly Clan, the clan of the element of air. You are being told that you need to retreat and to replenish your energy. You were told to go on a vision quest in your first clan reading. So this is very similar. You need more alone time, butterfly people, to honor your own needs and to heal yourself. You need to take time to renew your energy and strength now because you are preparing for a time when fertile action will be needed. Being alone at this time will allow you to do the things that bring you joy without any interference. Remember that miracles can happen when you allow yourself to rest and replenish your strength. This will give you a new starting point and a powerful new beginning in your life. Now your remedy has the vibration of the number 13, which is Aries. 13 is Aries energy. And it's about transformation and death. And when we add the one and three together, we get Scorpio, which is four. It's about realizations. So you are being told that you must create a new beginning through self-nurturing. The animal totem that can assist you at this time is the wolf. And the wolf is the pathfinder, the one that shares medicine with the clan and teaches others great wisdom. Wolf is represented by the great dog star Sirius. The Native American people, along with the ancient Egyptians, say that this star is the home of the gods, of those who came to earth to teach humanity in the beginning of time. The wolf is connected to the moon, so pay attention to its phases at this time. Being in alignment with this can increase your intuition. Wolf medicine can empower you to become a great teacher, to aid humanity in understanding the great mysteries of life. By working with the wolf, you will be shown how to share your medicine with others. Your intuition will also grow stronger as you work with this medicine to help you with your own challenges as well as others. Wolf teaches you that you are unique and that you must walk your own path in life. And sometimes you will have a pack by your side and other times you will have to walk alone. And that is for the Butterfly Clan. Now for the element of earth, the Turtle Clan. You are made up of beaver, brown bear, and snow goose people. Your challenge has the vibration of the number 18, which equals 9. 18 relates to the sign of cancer, which is about false friends. And nine relates to Aquarius, which is wisdom and prudence once again, the ability to govern and discipline yourself. Your overall message is unity and wholeness achieved in your life. You're being challenged to remove discord from your life at this time. And this is for earth elemental people. So this is the message from your higher self that it is time for you to remove any discord from your life, release all negativity, and focus your attention on creating beauty and abundance in your life. Your remedy has the vibration of the number 14, which is the number 5. And 1 and 4, which is 14, it relates to Taurus. Once again, this is regeneration and temperance. And five relates to Jupiter, good fortune, religion, and law. Your remedy will come through your ability to put your gifts and talents to work for you. They must be used to create fertility in your life. So all of your gifts, all of your talents are being called on at this time to create fertility. You are regenerating. This is the energy 
of regeneration. The remedy is renewal, restoration in your life. If you have found that things have been slow for you in some way, then know that your blessings are ready to flow. You must plant seeds for your future at this time. If you have a project to begin or an idea to develop, the timing couldn't be better. Shift your mind away from any old limiting ideas or beliefs and move forward. The time is now. You have the power to manifest your dreams. And this again is for the Earth Clan, the Turtle Clan. The animal totem that can assist you, turtle people, at this time is the badger. And this is interesting because turtle people are very calm, very peaceful. And once again, what do we do? We walk on the earth, right? So this can be a problem for earth people that people try to walk all over them. But you are being given the medicine of the badger at this time. And this is about aggression. The badger is a vicious animal and it attacks with powerful aggression. They are quick to anger and quick to pounce. So this means that earth people are at the end of their wick and they're, 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 they're tired. <laughs> they're ready to move forward and they're not taking any mess from anybody. If badger is coming to you, then this is your medicine. Now, the power of this medicine is the willingness to fight for what is right. Badger is the medicine of many powerful medicine women. This is the energy of aggressive healing. If badger is a part of your medicine, then you are quick to express your feelings and you do not care what the consequences are. Working with the medicine of badger can also point to an aggressive healer who has the courage to use unconventional means to exact a true healing. Badger people are willing to persist. They are oftentimes some of the finest healers because they will not give up until they find the cure. They will use any and all methods to ensure a healing. Connecting with badger medicine will give you strength and endurance to see your projects to the end. Badger is teaching you to get angry in a creative way and say, I'm not taking this anymore. And I think it's so appropriate for earth elemental people. So keep your eye on the goal and honor the healing process that you are going through and don't let anything or anyone take you off your path. Now, after our station break, we will begin our deep discussion on sacred numerology. We'll be right back in just a moment. The cutting edge of conscious radio, OM Times Radio, IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of OM Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of OM Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Awaken the Healing, Reclaim Your Life is a podcast that will change your life. If you are interested in expanding your consciousness and being self-empowered, then please tune in to our show. You can find us at awakenthehealing.com or on your favorite podcast app or platform. It's time for you to reclaim your life. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free. AscendingHearts.com More than 24 million Americans have an autoimmune disorder, and that number continues to grow. 
I'm Sharon Saylor, and I'm one of those 24 million. To put that number in perspective, cancer affects about 9 million and heart disease up to 22 million. That's why I've brought together top experts and those thriving regardless of their diagnosis to bring you the latest, most up-to-date information. Join me, Sharon Saylor, Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, for the Autoimmune Hour on Life Interrupted Radio to find out how to live your life uninterrupted. If I could be you. And you could be me. For just one hour. If you could find a way to get inside each other's mind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk Walk a mile mile in my shoes. shoes. We've all felt left out. And for some, that feeling lasts more than a moment. We can change that. Learn how at belongingbeginswithus.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Walk a mile in my shoes. Welcome back to Navigating the Awakening. So now we have a lot to discuss in a short time. So let's get right to it. I suggest getting a pencil or pen to take notes because I have a lot of information for you today. And as I've said on many occasions, we have a lot to cover and these are very deep topics. So it will be necessary for you to take notes to refer back to them when needed. It may seem that we are jumping around a bit, but this is how it has to be because we are not in a classroom setting. So this is the only way I know how to help you to get a better grasp of this material. We have to touch on some things and then move to the next thing and circle back. And we will always circle back to go deeper when needed. So this is why you need your notes. Today, I want to begin to share an ancient number letter chart with you. This is the best way I can describe it because remember, these were all ancient symbols that were translated into our modern day language. We are coming from the ancient Egyptians and the sacred numerology that they practiced at that time. So many things will be very different from what you know of our modern day charts for letter number conversions. Remember, many of these symbols were misinterpreted when translated into our modern day letter system. So the vibrational values will be different than the chart I asked you to begin to prepare last week. The chart I asked you to prepare was for the conversion of your name into a number value using the modern day system of numerology. And this system gives every letter a value between one and nine. So you need to list your alphabet and go from A to Z and then count from one to nine, which A would be one, B would be two, and so on and so forth. Go all the way up to the number nine and then repeat that process, when you get to nine, you start at one. Repeat it all the way till you get to Z. And this is how we are taught to find these values today, which is not the same for the ancient charts. So I'm going to teach you both ways. And by doing both systems, you're going to just learn more about yourself. Because The numbers, depending on the time frame that we're living in, everything is different. We see the world different than our other selves did in ancient times. So the modern day system is also good and effective. It can help you learn more about different aspects of yourself. And the ancient system is also going to give you more information about yourself. So we are going to take your name and create a number from it. So what you're going to do is write your name down, and then you're going to create your chart from A to Z, find the number value for each letter, and then apply that to your name, add up all of those numbers, and come down to a single digit. I want you to do that. That's your homework, because we're going to come back to that Next week, we're going to start breaking down your name in numerology so that we're going to just take one aspect of that and you're going to get a personality trait that is given to you from your name. 
And again, the ancients say a good name is better than gold. And this is why you need to be very conscious when you're choosing names and giving yourself nicknames and things of that nature because truly it changes your vibration. Whatever the vibration is of your name, then it affects you. So if you're born um, Mary Jo Simpson, okay, just a name out of the blue, and but you don't go by Mary Jo, you go by May, then you want to break down May, get a number value for that, and then you want to go by your birth name, get a second number value, because you're going to see how different those two people are when we break this down. So you will need to have your number next week for your name when we go into those charts because we won't have time to do that. So that's why I'm giving it to you ahead of time. But it's very powerful. And it is also very important for women. Now, in some cultures, women don't change their last name. But in the Western world, we tend to do that. Um, this is this is a cultural thing, and when you get married, you would give your last name. You would take on the last name of your husband. Sometimes we hyphenate our maiden name and our married name. However, you have chosen to do that. You also want to take that value, okay? And you also want to go by the name that you use. Now, I prefer to be called Trinace. I don't care for a last name, and there's just, I've just always been that way. So that's a character. That's a characteristic of me. And when you begin to break down your numerology, you will see the difference in just me being Trinace and me being my full name. So it's very interesting. But for some women, it's advised not to change your last name because it may change your personality too much. When you take on that married last name, if you take on your husband's last name, you have to go through this process to find out what the personality would be like. And we're going to go into the relationship thing. So you need to know number values in order to do that. What numbers clash with each other? What kind of challenges are created? You know, you will see those things in your vibration. Everything is frequency. Everything is vibration. You are a vibration. And the name you give yourself is vibrational. So to the ancients and to the ancient Native Americans, and I'm not sure if they still practice this today, but I'm sure some cultures still do. When you pass through certain trials in life, when you go through spiritual um, growth, you would receive a new name. This is the ancient Native American way. You would receive a new name. It's your spiritual name. And depending on what those trials are like, the, is the name given to you by the the elders of the tribe. Because you are no longer the old person anymore. So you receive a new name. So sometimes people want to just change their name. They're like, I don't feel like the name I was given at birth and I want to change my name. Well, this way, at least you will have an opportunity to break down the number values and then to see the characteristics and the traits that go along with the name you want to give yourself before you take on a name. Because sometimes you don't want to give yourself the name that you thought of. And it's very good for your businesses animals, whatever it is that you're naming, to know the frequency and the vibration of them and what is the energy, what is the what is the personality that goes along with that because it could create personality clashes within your marriage if you change your name, within your home, your business, and so on and so forth. And that is why knowing these things is so important. And this is why this is ancient mystery school knowledge and wisdom. It has been lost. So much of this has been lost in our modern times, but it is reawakening. So I'm going to share a chart with you. 
And this chart is long, so I will not give you all the equivalents today, but we will touch on many aspects of these number letter correspondences when we dive into the major arcanum of the sacred tarot. I will explain how to use this correspondence chart later, but for now, begin to write this information down so you can refer back to it yourself. We are going to go from numbers 1 to 22 because remember, these letters were originally hieroglyphics for the spiritual ideas represented by the corresponding major arcanum of the tarot. So remember, our language comes from ancient times. What we know of today, everything we know of today, which is handed down to us, but no one told us where it came from and what these things really meant. So a lot of people are afraid of these things. So you start talking about the tarot, you start talking about numerology, especially if we've you know been very conditioned through our religions. This causes a lot of fear in people. But I want you to step aside of all of those conditionings and begin to open your heart and your mind to learning something new so that you are empowered. Because I believe that fear comes from lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge. But again, follow your heart. This is a time of discernment. But understanding what number values represent and how they're connected will help you understand the language you are speaking. It will help you understand deeper the words you are using and what their vibrations really are. Because some things we have been told that a word means, it means just the opposite. And you will find this out for yourself as we begin to go through these mystery school teachings. Now, you must remember that the language was only spoken by very few people in ancient times, truly understanding what the language meant. And so the more the poorer you were, the less education you had. So you weren't given those secrets. You had to become an initiate of the sacred mystery schools in order for you to begin to learn this information. And then we have gone into a deep sleep on this planet, a period of great darkness where much of this information was lost or forgotten and hidden away in order for it to be revealed again at this time. We are just at the beginning of the reawakening. And the greater knowledge is still to be found out about what it is that we believe and all of the things that we think we know. So I think it's very empowering for you to begin to learn these things so that you can take your power back and begin to use the power of vibration in the universe. Because remember, we want to be in tune with the universe. So that means in our alignment, we must have that vibration. Okay, so these, these numbers go from 1 to 22. And each one is correlated spiritually to astrology. This is where our language came from. Each letter, each symbol expressed a number from 1 to 22, which had the same thought vibratory rate as one of the 22 astrological influences. All right, so get ready for the chart. Now I'm going to give you the number, the letter, and the astrological influence. Now for the number one, this equals the letter A, and this is Mercury. Number two equals the letter B, and this is Virgo. Number three equals the letter G, G as in girl, and this equals Libra. Number four equals the letter D, as in dog, D, and it equals Scorpio. Number five equals the letter E, and it is Jupiter. Number six, there's three letters here. The letter V is in victory, the letter U as in umbrella, and the letter W as in water. So number six has three letters, V, U, and W. 
and they equal Venus. Number seven equals Z, as in zebra. And this is Sagittarius. Number seven is Z, Sagittarius. Number eight has two different sets of letters. We have the letter H, as in hair, and a double letter, C-H. So the number eight is letter H, as in hair, and C-H. Remember the, the double letters. That's Capricorn. The number nine is another double letter, which is T-H, T-H, the, the the sound. And it equals Aquarius. The number 10 has three letters. It's the letter I, it's the letter Y, and it's the letter J, which equals Uranus. The number 10 is the letter I, the letter Y, and the letter J, which equals Uranus. And we're going to come back to this. You're going to see how these letters have been used to spell words. And the meanings, the vibrations are interchangeable. It doesn't matter if they used a J or they used a Y. And that's why in some languages, these letters are silent and so on and so forth that you don't even hear. them. Okay, so the number 11 is two letters. It's the letter C is in cat and the letter K is in kite. And this represents Neptune. The number 11 is two letters. It's C and the letter K and it represents Neptune. The number 12 equals the letter L, and this is Pisces, the letter L, and it's Pisces. The number 13 is the number, I'm sorry, it's the letter M, as in Mary, and it represents Aries. Number 13 is the letter M, and it represents Aries. The number 14 is, is the letter N as in Nancy, and it represents Taurus. The number 14 is N, and it's Taurus. The number 15 is the letter X, and it's Saturn. 15 is X, and it's Saturn. The number 16 is the letter O, as in octopus, and it equals Mars. Number 16 is O equals Mars. Number 17 is the letter F as in Frank, P as in Paul, and PH. You got a double letter there. F, P, and PH. This equals Gemini. Number 18, you have three double letters for 18. The first is SH, TS, and TZ. They relate to cancer. So the number 18 is SH, TS, and TZ. And the number 19 is the letter Q, as in quick, and it is Leo. The number 20 is R, and it represents the moon. And the number 21 is the letter S, and it's sun represents the sun, and the number 22 is our special number. The number 22 has two different values. So the first one is the letter T, and it equals Earth. Number 22 is the letter, the capital letter T, and it equals Earth. Now, 22 is also the number zero. They're interchangeable. Number 22 is also zero. And this is denoted by an upside down capital letter T. Upside down capital letter T. And this is Pluto. So the number two, when you see it upright, it is Earth. And when you see it upside down, it is Pluto. And so now you have a chart that we will refer back to many, many times. This is just the beginning of this chart. 
but it's something for you to start to look at and go over. And if you know anything about the numerology that we practice today, you will see that it is not completely the same. And that's a good thing because we're learning. And this is all that this show is about, to help you learn some new things, to gain some new tools, to help you navigate your awakening. This information is profound. And this chart is going to help you to unlock a lot of mysteries in your life. So make sure that you tuck it away and we'll come back to this information again. But next week, we will definitely start breaking down the names and the meanings that go with the personality vibrations. Please tune in next week as we pick up our discussion on ancient numerology and learn more about ourselves through the translation of our own names. I leave you in the love and in the light of the infinite creator. Have a beautiful week.